Good day, fellas. I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill. And today we are going to play with something fast. With something what people doesn't necessarily like. By the way, glasses from Egypt for 8 euros. Anyways, what we are going to play today is EBR90 Aka Ferrari. I know I am not playing with Ferraris very, very often. I'm very, very well aware of that. And the main reason being is, uh, first of all, I'm not a big fan of the gameplay of them, right? But I know how to play with them overall. And in the same time, it's just not my favorite tank. Plus, on top of that, community uh, hates Ferraris. Very rightfully so, right? But whenever time is coming, we need to simply review the tanks and we need to um, check it out how they are behaving, right? So let's see, can the tier 9 Ferrari work? By the way, if I'm not mistaken, in the index page, uh, Ferrari is rated as average tank. Uh, and the main reason being is because, first of all, it is extremely hard to make Ferrari work, right? I mean, I'm not speaking uh, about going in front and dying in the first minute of the game because every single of us saw plenty of those. I am talking about making it work properly, right? That performance um, of the Ferrari is great and everything is looking um, Gucci, right? This is, this is the hard part, um, especially of the lower tier Ferraris. Tier 10, very, very much debatable, but the lower tiers, in my humble opinion, are very, very hard to play with, even for a light tank lover, because since your view range is so tiny, you just need to figure out how to make the things work otherwise, right? So you kind of need to do some damage and you need to survive till the late game of the world of tanks. Whenever you are surviving till the late game of the world of tanks, then you are able to obviously go for troll loss scouting and everything. But surviving till the late game, oh, that is the hardest part of all this. How to survive till the late game, right? Anyways, what do we want to do? We want to help our team to clear the side and hopefully to spot some sniper schnitzel sitting in the back as well. I think this is very, very fear attitude and I think this is how we need to play this game. Meanwhile, Udis is sniping from the back. So what do we want to do? We want to slap him once, maybe twice if it is possible. Borat is on the reload. Okay, nice. So at this point we are saying broom, 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 broom and we are going for a Borat. I'm aware of those sniper schnitzels here. It doesn't, believe me, it doesn't change absolutely anything, right? Plus, on top of that, we are spotting them. Absolutely glorious. Another Panther, another Udes. It's okay. It's okay. We got this, fellas. Now, assisting damage is where we are, uh, where we are trying to get the most use here. Because we are in the front line at this point, And in the same time... We want to spot enemies and we want to do some damage. So this is what you are seeing here. In my humble opinion, this is this is very, very good uh, uh, from Ferrari point of view. In my humble opinion, this is very, very good. And as you can see, enemy Ferrari is trying to get involved as well, which is fair enough, I guess. I cannot blame him in uh, for joining the race and going full trollolo mode. Meanwhile, Mr. Borat, how are you doing this fine day? Bam! Ramed Borat with Ferrari, fellas. I repeat, we Ramed Borat with Ferrari. Meanwhile, other Ferrari. Ooh, that was a bad aim. That was a bad aim, but it's okay. And as you can see, you need to have a very, very, very good uh, um, aim overall unless you are willing to shoot with an um, auto-aim, which obviously can work because Ferraris have this silly goose auto-aim whenever you are aiming near the tank. Not on the tank, but near on the tank. And you can select auto-aim in this way. It is pretty much to make um, it easier to play, I would guess, right? That's the whole point of all of this. Just to make it easier easier to play because it is very very complicated it truly is meanwhile we can see object going to the open field and now object is going to the garage and let's see can we spank this mr progetto oh -ho! Mm, meatball i am thinking how to claim a whole life at this point 
This is what is happening in my baboon head. And you know what? I'm going for it. I think that's the right way to do the things. By the way, we can park to Oho's side and Oho won't be able to do absolutely anything for us. Obviously, we need to make sure we are not going to ram ourselves to death. That would be very, very nice as well. Meanwhile, we are chilling. And once again, this is very, very understandable that <coughs> people do not appreciate Ferraris, especially whenever they are playing uh, um, with their heavy tanks and Ferraris are zooming all over the place, right? As an example, it is very, very easy to get uh, flanked, it is very easy to get effed overall, and, uh, you know, you can be sent to the garage extremely, extremely quickly. Meanwhile, it is his butt. We are saying hello for him. And now he noticed us. Doesn't really change just too many things, to be fair with you. Even though this guy is trying to go for us, we are going to spot him in this kind of situation. Ay, 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 greedy, 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 skill, greedy, skill. You said it doesn't change anything, and it changed everything. It's okay, fellas. I'm not complaining about this. That's all right. I think that was the perfection of the Ferrari. But this is in the open field. This is where this tank is shining. I hope we are going to get map like Himmelsdorf, Ansk or something. You know, where the speed actually doesn't matter that much and where you need um, bigger alpha damage and armor overall. Anyways, that's what I have for a first game. Let's teleport to the scoreboard. Beautiful. We are coming back with a solid victory, fellas. 3.1 thousand damage 2.3 thousand assisting damage first class confederate we are top by experience we are top by the damage and i would say that was a perfection with the br well minus uh, uh end situation whenever i got killed by cc but overall that was good one and we have 35 000 profits as well thank you very much let the race continue okay round number two this is this is a hard one uh we are playing in paris and paris fellas is one of the shittest maps for light tanks you can say whatever you want, it is, it is the case. You know, in a way, narrow streets uh, to move uh, with a Ferrari is going to be a hard one. But nevertheless, we will try to do our best and we will try to perform well. Meanwhile, what is our mission? Our mission is to annoy every single light tank who ever will make a decision to uh, make pressure, right? or medium tanks or whoever doesn't have any armor whatsoever this is this is our mission and this is our duty beautiful enemy ferrari died in the first 40 seconds of the game and you know what fellas you can say no, did, 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 what a noob what a noob what a bad player fellas it is very hard to play with a ferrari in this game it truly is and you will see that i am not spotting with this tank but i'm actually trying to do some damage and believe me, doing damage with a Ferrari in this map is kind of a stinker and it is kind of a complicated situation. I can promise you that, right? Not only we need to keep the distance between us and enemies, but in the same time, right, we need to um, we need to penetrate them. As an as and as an example, we are dealing against the heavy tank right there, and that is and that is a stinker. That is not an easy task to do by any shape or any form. Luckily for us, those guys cannot outspot us, so we are kind of enjoying ourselves to the certain extent, and we are, you know, holding distance. We are loading the ammo, which is uh, right for the certain type of the tanks we are shooting. As an example, we saw the Su, we loaded high explosives. We saw the Ferrari, we loaded high explosives. We see the heavy tank, we are loading hits, right? It is not easy task by any shape or any form. Hmm. I want to get closer here. And the main reason being is I just want to spot the sniper schnitzels in the back. <gasps> oh no. Minus 500. I did not manage to outspot the heavy tank and he outspotted me. Okay. Heavy tank outspotted me. No, this is this is not a very usual one, but as you can see, it can happen as well. That's fine. Okay, 
what is the other task for us? How we could get some use? I will try to spot the Škoda for our uh, for our sniper schnitzels. That would be absolutely amazing. Cannot penetrate the tier nine heavy tank, even though he's in the middle field of the field. There is nothing what I can change there. I think I'm going into the mid at this point. Skill, where is the mid? This is the middle. I want to get into the right position from where I can spank the living crap out of the guy sitting around this area. I think this is the best uh, play for us, and I think this is going to be perfection, right? And once again, please keep this in mind. I am not focusing on sporting for my team or sporting for myself. I am focusing uh, um, in doing damage, right? Because there is no other alternative option, unfortunately. There is no other alternative option. We just simply need to do damage. What can I say? Meanwhile, Vaza is sitting here around the corner, but he might go to support the base. This is exactly what he is doing. So at this point, I am saying hi there. We are loading the standard ammunition. We will try to spank him in the ass if he will move back, but it doesn't look like he's moving back. So that being said, we are trying to find an excellent angle to say hello for Mr. Uh, for Mr. Emil. Beautiful angle. Let's hit him in the back. Very, very nice. And let's go for remaining heavy tanks here. The main reason why I'm, am I playing in this position because there is the most hit points in this game, right? Okay, we spotted this guy. That's okay. I see him shooting me, believe me, I see him. And yet still I am feeling go re relatively okay. Can I escape? Oh yes I can. Right in the butt. He's a bit disappointed with his life decisions, but I cannot blame him for that. And he's going straight to the garage, like so. Good. And now we are going to get one more extra shot, never mind, 15 to 0. 15 to 0, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. But once again, in my opinion, this is perfection um, gameplay with the BR. I do not make a mistakes. Well, he have a tank outspotted me. Oh, well, what can you do? Overall, everything was calculated to the, um, to the bits, in my humble opinion. Everything went fine. We were focusing on the damage. If we got some assisting damage, great. If we got some tracking damage, great. Everything was very, very fine and very, very well executed, especially considering what is the map. But it is not easy. I truly need to focus what I'm doing here. So 2.5 thousand damage, 2.1 thousand assisting damage. Beautiful. We are top by experience. We are second by the damage. And we got 11,000 profits. What a beautiful play in Paris. Let's go for round number three. Okay, last but not least, we have Life Oak Standard Battle. Um, what is what is EBR good at? EBR is good for going through the middle of the field and saying blah, 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 without thinking too much what would happen, right? Uh, obviously, at this point, I am just chilling and I am just waiting in this bush. And when the time will come, we are going to go ham. And when I'm saying I'm going ham, I truly mean it. You know, I am going to go full bananas. Like literally full bananas, fellas. That's what we are going to do. And we are going to provide spots for every single mother trucker sitting over there. But now it's not the time yet. We need to be patient and we need to wait until the time will come. That's what we are waiting for. Meanwhile... There is a big chance enemy heavy tank will try to cross like this very, very soon. And if it is going to be the case, we are going to spank him. In fact, I would say we are going to slap him. Actually, you know what? I will risk it. If I will be, if I die, I will be dead, fellas. But I think this could be very, very, very strong play. We are going to take this bush here because we know that enemy Ferrari is not playing anywhere nearby. He is not even near us. And in the same time, we could potentially spot the guy sitting around this area, right? So we are going for it. Once again, this is extremely risky stuff, and this is a typical Ferrari YOLO trollolo. Go through the middle and smile, right? This is how it looks like. Okay, good. 
T95, please do not hit me in the ass. Good. Very, very good. I'm still alive. Luckily, T95 missed his shot. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. At this point, I started thinking about going cozy in the middle. I kind of want to find a cozy position for myself. Maybe knock a couple of trees there and there. And uh, from this position, we will be able to pretty much spot everyone who is trying to be involved here, right? Especially from the other side, I see that EBR. Especially from here. And in the same time, we can spank the enemy Ferrari moving in front as well. Beautiful shot to Ferrari. I hope I'm not spotted. Luckily, I am not spotted. Good. And now all we need to do, we need to be annoying. Oh, come on. Luckily, he haven't spotted us. Good. Once again, our mission is just to be as annoying as we physically and possibly can. To spot enemies and to do some damage. But I am playing with a fire here. What do I mean by saying I am playing with a fire? The thing is, I am I am playing in the middle of the field. If I am going to get outspotted, this is going to be rough. This is definitely going to be rough. Luckily, our team is winning the field, okay? That is actually a very, very good situation for us. Because we are going to spot the sniper schnitzels here. Every single sniper schnitzel should fear for his life because EBR is going for it. Broom, 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 broom. Let's see. Can we spot them? Well, this is the question. Jack Tiger sniping in the back. Greetings. I'm not even spotted. T95, doesn't really matter, I'm feeling okay. Even though Jack Tiger spanked me, I still do not feel bad whatsoever. And now we are packing the sweet assisting damage left, right and center. This is what we want to see. Oh, so this is the sound when car is underwater. Hmm. I really doubt that this T95 will be brave enough to peek sideways. I truly do not think so. I think he will caco his pants. But what am I thinking at this point from the perspective of let's do some damage, I see the Grille. And what Grille means for us, I can translate it, he has no armor whatsoever. So, we are going to say hello for him. If I'm going to do the things properly, we should be able to penetrate him without bigger problems. Oh, Dildo, hi. We have a Dildo tank here. No, the T95 got me. No, this game had so much more potential. Ay, 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 ay. I, 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 I kind of, I kind of slow it down. That was my mistake. My mistake, fellas. Okay, so two games we are perfect. Uh, the third one is not bad, fellas. We got 4.9 thousand. It's not bad. But this could have been significantly better if I, if I would be smarter. Yeah, let's see the score. And we are back, fellas. Poor score uh, damage-wise, but assisting damage-wise, that was a solid. 300 damage, 5,000 assisting damage, fellas. We finished somewhere in the middle, actually, on the sixth uh, place by experience. By the damage, I'm on the bottom, but look at the score, fellas. Uh, we did a great job, honestly. We gave a lot of, a lot of free assisting damage for our team, which is nice. And 26,000 profits. And now looking after three games, fellas, oh my bananas. 2,000 raw damage and 300 assisting damage. Uh, sorry, 3,000 assisting damage. So let's restart it. <clears throat> 2,000 damage, 3,000 assisting damage we played for um, 5,000 combined. Fellas, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, it was perfection. Please keep this in mind that we are using the standard equipment. We are not uh, bounting everything up. We are not using directives and anything. This is, this is a very, very good performance. And I hope... If you are struggling with Ferraris, this video is going to give you a lot of, a lot of, a lot of knowledge and benefits for you. Um, at least I hope so. So yeah, 
Thank you very much for watching, fellas. I hope you enjoyed your daily dose of skill and see you soon. Skill is out for today. Peace.